Nation after nation are finding themselves close to bankruptcy. And right now we have countries defaulting on their debt. Now this has gone on all throughout history. However, right now with a system that is run completely off of debt, we are going to see the dominoes falling because this cannot be sustained. Bonus points to whoever can figure out what that image on the right is. Not just Argentina, 11 countries near bankruptcy. I'll go in and list a few of those countries for you right now. And they're saying here, Greece and Ukraine to Pakistan, to Ecuador, Venezuela and Belize, Egypt and many others. So they say there is no geographical limitation on exactly who can have this uh, issue right now with uh, bankruptcy. And it's not just countries with very high debt to GDP ratios either. So there are many factors. What I believe and what many do believe as well is that the vultures are responsible and that is you know you have these hedge funds these institutions which basically can manipulate any individual country it's like a currency war that's what happens you can manipulate them from the outside and you can attack them and that is exactly what the IMF tries to do when they go in to save a country they go in and they will be responsible for all all the damage that has been done look at Greece having to sell off major assets this is very very bad for that country I assure you and this wouldn't be such a problem however if you look at it right now July 2014 there are 92 million Americans 16 and over who are classified as not in the labor force this is why you have such a big problem is when a high percentage of the people are not able to work they're not going to be able to afford anything and surely you're going to run into problems because without that middle class there without the people working and spending you're simply not not going to have a proper country it cannot all be sustained by government debt it just can't do that it doesn't work like that so they're trying to do so however it is obviously a big failure I'll go on quickly this is, reminds me of what happened this is the debt crisis of 1982 in Mexico I'll just go over the three basic points what they said was you know first this is in February they devalued the peso so they wanted to make it cheaper which did work to uh, allow the exports to be cheaper that's for sure it definitely worked for that however what happened was eventually they couldn't pay off their external debt their foreign debt was unable to be paid because they're paying back in confetti and and the countries simply don't uh, want it essentially and eventually they had to come out to the US government the IMF and basically say that look we can't pay up anymore well of course they have restructuring to do at that point I'll get into that in a moment not too long after they had to nationalize the banking system of course to prevent the bankruptcy because the central bank would always be lender of last resort and then they uh, impose these comprehensive exchange controls and then they go into other things as well you can read that for yourself but essentially what they do is they screw over all of those who are invested there and that is the big problem because if you're investing in government bonds for example you never really know if your money is coming back to you people feel that it is a very safe investment but you truly never know that's why the paper monetary system is extremely fragile it is extremely risky and you should invest at your own risk this is exactly what happened in Mexico and this could very well happen in the US and this is what we have to worry about this is the IMF is uh, on diagram here from my book and basically what I'm just showing you depicting that you know a portion of your paycheck goes to your taxes a portion of those taxes ends up going to the IMF and the IMF is basically paying off these banks they are one big bank in their own way and they are working together in concert with these big banks to essentially push other countries into bankruptcy and they do so by acting like vultures that's the way this works they put a country onto an interest rate they simply cannot pay back that's just the way it is but they force feed it down their throat and the country it has to take it and they do so so, and they're unable to pay back eventually they have to 
go in this cycle, this constant cycle where they devalue their currency, they're unable to pay their foreign debt, and again, they have to restructure. And who is losing in the situation? It's the individual citizens. That's how this works because the individual, all they want is to be able to do their daily thing, but they can't because their paper dollars are worth less and less every day. You have hyperinflation in many of these countries, and it is obviously destructive to so many of them, Venezuela being one of them. So anyway, I'm going to go on and finish up the uh, video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and tell you that if you're not an insider already, this is the best place to get the information because it's totally free. It's information that I've talked about here. I talked about in my book and you can get it through your email and I hope that you will enjoy it. And it's basically it's free. It's at the money You scroll down to the bottom, you fill in your email address and you get those occasional emails from me.